What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles. I here doing my thing. It's raining out here too. Man, everything is a hustle, man. I'm trying to hustle up me some money right now. The Super Bowl weekend. I'm trying to get my paper. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't need it, but I need it every penny. I need it, but I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what that means. Um, basically, uh, you know, I'm out here doing this Instacart stuff. Instacart um, app. I don't know. I don't know if any of y'all have ever did the Instacart app, but um, I'm just trying it out. It's okay. You ain't making a buku bread. A lot of times they'll, you know, a lot of times they kind of try you with some of the prices that they give you, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they had one price where, um, well, no, not the prices, but the prices that they, you know, that, that they want to give you to go shopping for other people. For y'all who don't know what what Instacart is, Instacart is a shopper app. It's a shopper app where you can go, and for people who don't feel like going to the store, you can have somebody go to the store and uh, for you, and you can make like a little grocery list and everything. And then the app finds people that work for Instacart or has the app too as well, and they'll find people that's in the area that want to go shopping, and they, you know uh, you can decline or you can accept it, and you know, you can go shopping for people. Only thing about it is, is that it it don't really pay much. Like a lot of times, they'll be like testing you with a bunch of these jobs. A lot of the times, they'll hit you up and be like, "Hey, can you go shopping for me?" And you know, uh, and they'll want like thirty items, but Instacart only pay you like thirteen dollars. I ain't doing no damn. I ain't shopping for you for no damn thirty items, and you only pay me thirteen dollars. You gotta give me at least twenty. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Or at least eighteen twenty, you know what I mean. And sometimes they'll have some that are uh, that are up at that price where you like people will pay you that much, you know. But I'm not, dude. I'm not going to do anything under twenty dollars, you know. So I got an order this morning, and this was in downtown L.A. By the way, and this in downtown L.A. is horrible on a Sunday. You trying to shop on a Sunday in downtown L.A. It's horrible. And this one lady wanted me to go shop. Well, you know, I don't even know if he, even if it was a lady. I don't know the person. You don't really know the person until you actually accept the order. So, but I know that this lady wanted 30 things. And it was only paying $13. So I was thinking to myself, I got to drive downtown LA. I live in South Central. I got to drive downtown LA. Parking going to be a madhouse because it's Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. So everybody up in there shopping. So then I got to look around. And you know what? Another thing. A lot of times in that area, white people living near down, either white and Asian live in downtown LA. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's, that's where the people live at. They're close to the store. So I knew that he was either a white person or an Asian person that was, um, you should have used the video right there. That was, uh, that had ordered, had made this order and they wanted 30 things. I'm not a racist person, but one of the Asian people, man, y'all order some weird shit from the grocery store, you know, and you can kind of tell if the person, <laughs> you can kind of tell the person who made the order, you can tell either they're uh, white or black or either Asian by their grocery list. Because black folks is real simple. We want some cereal, milk, some Cheez-Its, you know, a pound of chicken, wings, and that's pretty much it. You know, um, pretty much easy. Uh, come on, oh, this lady, she messed me up. Damn it. Damn it. She, that's what I'm talking about. 